spy with my little eyes somebody making nest renovations. Look at you go, buddy. All right, so Silverberry and Blue are both inside of the nest box right now, which means, hi, buddy, which means Blue has made a full recovery. Normally, I would take the nest box out and I would not breed her um, after she's been so sick. That's just not good to push that extra stress on their body. But she has been in there so much today and he's been so busy in there. I don't want to like upset them by removing it. And they've been very softly chirping and talking to each other. You can see he's keeping a good eye on me, making sure I stay back. <laughs> and I'm not going to mess with them. So I'm going to leave it because I don't want to upset them. But yeah, normally you would want to give your birdos a good rest, but she seems to have made a full recovery, and that just says, I think that that medication is amazing. It was totally worth how expensive it was to get shipped to me, and it made me really relieved that she has bounced back so well. Also, I did have a broad-spectrum antibiotic that I was able to put in their water, so it's very good to make sure that your birdos and your pets can have all of the medicine they need, because that was really spooky, and now she's totally fine again. I'm so relieved. It's a really great thing because now I can go on our vacation without being super worried about her, which is wonderful. So woo! we leave for vacation in a couple days. I am really excited. I am getting more and more excited, especially I just finished filming the update vlog for the main channel like a few minutes ago. That's why I'm so dressed up, oh, trying to look nice. <laughs> but I just finished filming it and as I was filming it, I realized what I was saying is really true. That yeah, the schedule is probably going to be thrown off a little bit for the stuff that comes out on the main channel. Because because of not being able to pre-record enough ahead of time but that's okay because you have to have a little bit of adventure in your life and I'm not going to be putting nothing out I'm going to be sharing the adventures I'm going on with you guys and I'm gonna do that on the vlog channel I'm going to do that on the main channel I plan on trying to have at least like one adventure vlog a day my goal is to have one adventure vlog every single day go out on the main channel while I am on vacation and there's still a ton of videos that I completed um, I don't think I have it up right now. Let me see if I do and I can give you guys a very rare sneak peek. Oh, of course I do. I always have this up. But it's a very rare sneak peek into the series schedule for my channel. And this, all of the green things are things that are already recorded and uploaded to YouTube. So they're good to go. 100% good to go. You guys are already going to see them. And all the purple things are things that I'm trying to get done. So the ratio of green to purple is still a little bit off. But it's better than... It's better than what I thought it was going to be. So, success! But yeah, while I was recording the community vlog update, I realized, guys, it's all about adventure. And it's all about growing together. And getting the... Actually, you can see the snail mail behind me on the table there. But getting the snail mail today and reading for people who have, like... They've been watching our community grow for like two, three years sometimes. So sometimes like as long as we've been around more or less, these are people who have been with us. And when I was reading that, it really kind of helped to hit home how, Pumpkin, what are you doing? Pumpkin, stop making so much noise. She's being really fussy. Sorry, it was very distracting. But yeah, it really kind of hit home for me how, this is about growing together. It's not about trying to be on schedule all of the time. It's not about trying to like keep a series regular as much as it's trying to embrace creativity and stories, but also the fact that time marches on and we all grow and we all change a little bit and so will the channel and occasionally the whole channel will go on vacations like this and we will go vlogging together or we will go like on adventures together and it might throw off the regularly scheduled items for a little while but they'll come back because that's just kind of the way life is so it was really fun because I guess I just realized that the channels in a lot of ways are kind of like a reflection of my periods of creativity and growth and adventure and sometimes that means that things that I had scheduled won't exactly be when and where I wanted them but that doesn't have to mean that that's a bad thing it just means that just like a vacation is a break in my regular routine so is like the gap between series or, or when we go on adventures together so I don't know if that made any sense maybe it'll help other creators who are out there because it feels like no one ever really talks about like the actual behind the scenes how you mentally deal with like this as a career and it's really tricky because it's a creative like creative content that you make all the time and that 
taxes you in an interesting way and you feel like you have a responsibility towards it in interesting ways. But I'll babble about that later because I'm still super excited about my hat. Look at this little hat. So this is my sun hat. I get sunburned on my part right here down the middle very easily, like <laughs> really badly. I will get sunburned so badly and poor Chips will have to like nurse me back to health after I get terrible migraines and things from being out in the sun too much. So what he suggested this time was that I get a sun hat. And so I bought a cute little sun hat that I found on Amazon and it has little leaves on it which is so adorable and it fits my big Hawaiian head. I'm so happy. I have like the biggest head ever. I can't wear any hats normally, so this is perfect. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing to hopefully keep me from getting sunburned down my part because then I'm out for like days from the migraine of it. But yeah, so there's that. And then my mom is really excited because apparently the shelling for um, sea urchins, which are one of her favorite things, and the shelling for the sand dollars is really common over there. So hopefully we'll be able to um, find some cool shells. That's also one of my goals. And otherwise it's just gonna be like, vlogging the adventure of it and looking for specimens and that's where the vlogging experience ties in and makes me super excited because it helps me to be able to think differently about how I'm going to engage the world around me. It's like I'm always saying, if someone sticks a camera in your hands and then pushes you out the door to go on the park walk that you normally go to, would you do things a little differently with that camera in your hands? And Maybe it would, and maybe it would really help you engage with the world differently. Like that awesome letter I have from Renee sitting around somewhere here. It's tucked away in one of my special scrapbooks so I can reread it. But she is one of our older viewers. I don't know if you're watching Renee, but I hope you are. Hi! <laughs> Who has started taking like nature photography on her walks. And she wrote to me and said if someone had told her a few years ago that she would enjoy that as a hobby, she would have thought they were like nutter butters. And yet yeah, it's something that she's found very rewarding and fulfilling. Um, and like Kate, Kate, thank you so much because Kate mentioned a word that has been my word of the day and I'm going to use as my word of um, inspiration for the entire month of May because we're going to be traveling so much first to Bald Head Island uh, on the kind of not quite in the Outer Banks of North Carolina but off the coast of North Carolina and then we're going to be going to Ann Arbor for several days to try to see if we can figure out where we potentially want to live in Ann Arbor. Um, so all of May, Chips and I are going to be pretty much traveling more or less um, and that's going to keep us very busy. And I was trying to think how to cope with being that busy and being away from creating the creative content, which is also my job, and feeling that sense of balance in life when you have to break away from the routines and how do you like figure out that balance. And Kate mentioned when I was talking about how my like spirit language is kind of being out in the woods and out in the forest, which now that I'm talking to you guys, I really want to go to. I want to hurry up and get my work done so I can go be out in the forest. Um, but she mentioned replenishing, that people need to replenish themselves, and we forget that. And that's exactly what the word I'm going to use. I'm going to just repeat that to myself again and again and again. Anytime I'm feeling like the trip or the travel or the stress and the strain of doing all of these things, I'm going to ask myself, am I feeling replenished about what I'm doing? And that doesn't have to mean pampering myself. Sometimes working really hard, pushing it late into the night to make sure I have enough stuff done, it replenishes like something inside of me but sometimes I can tell I'm scraping dry and I don't know how to fix that and then I go on a big walk in the forest and I don't know how to justify that walk in the forest when I still didn't meet a whole bunch of my self-imposed deadlines but the fact is if you are feeling like you're totally dry and empty inside and you're not replenished how are you gonna make anything <laughs> So replenishment, replenishing, those are going to be my, that's going to be my key word for my entire vacation. I'm going to ask myself, is this replenishing? And for me, because I'm a workaholic, sometimes it's probably going to be like crawling, belly crawling across the sand to try to get up to a little sandpiper. I'm really worried if I put my phone on the beach to try to record some like time lapses or try to record some of the birds and let them come closer. I actually have this secret fear. I'm worried that a pelican is going to come by and eat my phone. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my phone to be eaten by a pelican unless he'd be polite enough to cough it right back up and then I could have a very interesting vlog to share with you guys. But yeah, that's that's my new mantra is replenishing. So I'm going to focus on what feels replenishing and then try to work hard because I get I get a good a good vibe from working hard and because I love what I do and I love sharing my life and my adventures with you guys. But yeah, that's what's coming up. 
we're going to go on an adventure. We are going to be going to pick up some crickets for the geckos because that will fill them up for the time that we're gone. Um, they'll also have some food and water mixed in when Chips' family comes to take care of the birdos too. So we're going to go get crickets for them tomorrow. We're going to go pick up our food because you have to take all of your food with you to the island more or less because there's, like, there's a grocery store but who knows how much vegan food we're going to have there. So we're going to try taking a lot of food with us. Um, his family's going to be visiting a lot so I'm probably not going to do a lot of vlogging when they're around whatsoever but it's going to be a lot of all the animals so that's gonna be really cool and yeah we're gonna have a really great time and thank you guys cuz I'm gonna I know I'm gonna have a really great time and I'm it's gonna be even better because I get to share it with you guys and I'm gonna do my best so yeah blueberry is doing good um, I think I might record in just a second here a very special Mother's Day vlog because it's Mother's Day right now I'm starting to kind of get to the point where I have a little bit of a buffer but it's Mother's Day right now and I think I might record a Mother's Day vlog instead of waiting until the day before I leave for Ochre, or Ochre Cook for um, Bald Head to see if Persimmon is sitting on any eggs so that would be a really fun Mother's Day vlog I thought so I'm gonna do that and get back to work um, like I said fill in the purple <laughs> need to make everything green there's too much purple need to fill it in and I will see you guys tomorrow when we are getting ready for T minus next day to Bald Head Island, which should be so much fun. I'm so excited to have my cute little hat. <laughs>
This is Siri's very first real life fever. Some of you probably don't think this is exciting. I'm in the middle of the city. It's a very busy day. There's dozens and dozens and dozens, possibly more than 100 people around me. And there's a beaver. There's a beaver. Oh my gosh. There's no way I can get over to that wetlands, I don't think. I'm gonna give it my best go. Because that's a beaver. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. The beaver was right here. I'm still trembling with excitement and I wish that he would come back, but I think he had enough of my human, humanness and has left. But the beaver was right over here, you guys. So I saw my very first wild beaver in the middle of a city park and managed to find a tiny frog on my way over here. So that was very exciting and now I need to walk very carefully back onto the path. But you guys, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I just saw a wild beaver. I even got a tail slap on video. And that was all because I told myself that I deserve to have a little moment outside replenishing myself in the greenery and now I have a moment that I'm going to remember forever <laughs> and it's really funny because part of my mind knows that I'm going to get yelled at because like by a bunch of people in comments because I haven't put up the videos that they wanted tonight and the thing is my heart is pounding so hard and so full of joy right now I think it's okay I know it's okay. So follow what your heart really says you need, you guys. And I know that this replenished the essence of who Siri is in ways where if I had met my self-imposed schedule, it wouldn't have done. So I think I have lost my beaver friend, but I saw him and I feel like something very special got added in to where I needed it. So I hope you guys can find the thing that replenishes you too, and follow it. <laughs>